Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use these public templates uh, to present your work such as these advertisements and also these logos. They're really easy to do and they are free. They are like you don't need to spend any money for buying these templates and I don't really quite understand why more people don't use these mock-ups just because they make your work look so much more professional and uh, it just it's just a very good way of presenting it to clients and things like that. So this is actually a, a logo mock-up for a clothing. You can kind of see the fabric and then uh, I'm also going to show you this example of a, uh, a public advertisement mock-up. So these templates are both free to install, like I did say. Uh, the first one, the uh, fabric one, was actually from the same company company that makes the uh, the um, the uh, the football shirt templates that I use. And then um, the second one was just from a random list. Both both links will be in the description for you to check out. And uh, yeah, so you can have fun with these, explore, uh, experimenting with different mock-ups. And again, like I said, it is really easy to do, presents your work in a much more professional way, and it is free to use as well. So the, what we're going to start off is with this um, this fabric one. So when you download it, you're going to be presented with this. It will say your logo, and uh, like I said, it is really easy. All you need to do is go to this layer right here. It says your logo here, pretty self-explanatory. Just double click on this thumbnail and it will take you to a new window where you put your logo in here. So you just want to delete the, the layer that's already in there. So delete group zero, just drag in your logo right there. And then you want to make it a reasonable size, something like this, that'll be fine. Then you just want to press command S as if you were to save the document. This will come up, you just need to press cancel, you don't actually need to do anything there. Then you go back to the template and you can actually see that it's already changed. And now if I wanted to, oh wait no, this that was the example, this is the um, this is what we were working on. Now you can see that it's already changed and that this is actually different to the example because of the uh, the background colour. So we can actually double click on this thumbnail as well for the bottom layer and now we can actually change the colour to anything that we like. This is very useful because sometimes your, your logo will look better with certain colours. As you can see it can't really, it doesn't really stand out when it's got a blue background but when you put a white background it stands out really well. And also the dark backgrounds work really well uh, sometimes as well. But um, as you can kind of see that the logo isn't centered, so I need to go back to this this document right here, and then uh, we can just move it, position a bit more to where we think it would be suitable. Press Command S again, press Cancel there, and now we can go back and kind of see it's a bit more central, and uh, it looks a lot better and um, where it's positioned. So yeah, it's literally that easy. That was the very first logo mock-up, and uh, now I'm going to show you this curved billboard example and um, this is actually using a advertisement that I made for Range Rover and I actually made a speed art so a link to that will also be in the description so when you download this particular template like I said before it's just on this list it was this one right here curved billboard mock-up PSD and um, so when you open it this is what you can be presented with and with this mock-up only has two, la two layers so you want to double click on the thumbnail where it says art here and uh, it's double click there and now we're just going to put in our design. So we're just going to click, drag, uh, resize it just so it fills up the whole entire space. Just like that. Position it to how you want it. Press on the tick in the, at the top. Now we can press, you know, you can see that we've got a layer that says delete me. You might have a few mockups that say that. So you just want to delete that layer and then you can see that that will get rid of the tick, uh, get rid of the text. Now you can press command S just like the other mockup and then we can just go back. And now you can see that it has changed from the, uh, the bird on the lake and now it has changed to our mock-up. You can see guys, it really is that easy and I don't see enough designers making or taking advantage of this technique as it is so useful. And uh, yeah, so both links will be in the description and I really hope you did enjoy this tutorial. This wasn't really a tutorial, it's kind of like a, a how-to kind of thing. Just kind of the same as a tutorial. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I really hope you did enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video.